What is up? What is going on, everybody? I am back with the Mariners post-game recap. The Mariners beat the Oakland A's tonight 7-2. to Still technically not in a playoff spot, but they stay even with Texas. They know the tiebreaker. They stay game back with Toronto. They do have the tiebreaker. And Houston loses. The Mariners are just a half game out of first place in the AL West. They could be in first place after tomorrow. Despite everything that's happened, despite a September swoon, which has been frustrating, this team's still got everything right in front of them that they want and can go get it and can be division champs still. Still, before I get started, do me a favor. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. That lets YouTube know you're enjoying the video and other people may enjoy it as well. If my voice has gone a little bit, it's because we had another members-only live stream tonight with some baseball card giveaways. Um, so if you guys want to, head over to the join button. Think about becoming a member. We do once-a-week live streams with once-a-month giveaways. Um, I've given away an official scorebook and some baseball cards so far. So more stuff to come. Could be tickets, could be other things as we go further into it. Um, I'm also going to do a member shout out at the end of this video, which I mean to do more so. Um, so you'll get those shout outs as well. So thank you to everybody that's become a member or even just thought about it. And if not, that is okay too. Mariners win seven to two. They take care of business. They go into Oakland. They beat a team they should be beating. And before we start getting into, oh, Oakland's bad. That they are. That is very true. They took two out of three from Houston just last week in Houston. So as much as the Mariners are playing a team that's not very good, the A's were 12 and 13 in their last 25 going yesterday. They played some better baseball. It's not a good baseball team, but they've been a little bit more competitive and they took care of Houston. So the Mariners are taking care of business. They're finally doing what they need to do. Listen, I know September has been tough. There have been some brutal losses. The Mariners have not played good baseball in September. And truthfully, when it's all said and done, we'll probably look back in September and go, eh, not great. But they've got everything right in front of them that they need to win the West or and to at least get in the playoffs. It's going to come down those final 10 games. If you can win six of them, you're probably in pretty good shape to do something. If you can sweep Houston in that series, you're probably going to be in pretty good shape to do something. Remember, Seattle's going to have the tiebreaker over Houston. I believe if it's a three-way tie, the Mariners will have the tiebreaker. And they'll still have that tiebreaker over to, to Toronto over Toronto if that becomes a factor as well. So everything is still right there for this team, despite everything. And they haven't clinched anything either. This doesn't all make up for some of the poor losses they've had. It's nice they've won these games. They should be winning these games. But it certainly, I think, can make us at least take a deep breath and go, okay, despite it all, despite some of the tough losses, this is why you stick with it. Because I told you guys, there's going to be some tough losses. Every loss is going to sting in September. They all are going to sting. That doesn't mean they shouldn't have won some of those games. They should have found a way to win one in Tampa. They should have won that game against Cincinnati. They should have won that game against the Angels when the bases loaded nobody out. I'm not saying that they should have lost those, but you got to push through those as best as possible and then get through on the other side. The Mariners went through some sludge there for a couple weeks. This doesn't mean that they're all the way through it, but they're at least finding some wins throughout there. They win the series. Hopefully they can get the sweep tomorrow. And I think all things considered, and listen, this team would not be in the playoffs if the season ended today. And that's not good enough. We They need to get on a run and get in this thing. But I think we're all okay with where they're at right now. I mean, in, in the taking everything into consideration, I think we'll take where they're at. They just need to catch one of the three teams and they're right there on all of them. Keep winning. And you'll pass those teams. And it'll come down those final 10 games. Let's get into this. Start with the pitching. Luis Castillo, seven innings, five hits, two runs, two earned, three walks, eight Ks. Thought there was a couple innings where the control command wasn't great. But for the most part, Castillo did what he needed to do. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens with that Cy Young race between him and Garrett Cole. Cole probably is the better numbers, but Castillo is also pitching in the playoff race. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, Castillo will probably have two more starts. The rest of the way, I know, I believe Wu is being skipped in Texas. So I think in Texas, it's going to be Miller, Logan, and Castillo going um, in that series. So that, that'll that be good. And hopefully uh, Castillo can dominate there. But did, did what he needed to do today. Gave up a couple runs in that seventh inning. Wasn't a big deal. Uh, the Mariners had the game in hand. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Castillo was, did what he needed to do. 
And I'm glad he was able to get through seven innings tonight. I think that was crucial um, to give the bullpen another, you know, semi-night off. Matt Brash pitched the eighth inning. I do want to talk about one thing, and it ended up not being a big deal, but oh my gosh, that 2-2 pitch that Matt Brash threw to, threw to Seth Brown could not have been more of a strike. Could not have been more of a strike. I don't know how that was called a ball. No idea. That was one of the worst calls I've seen. And then Seth Brown walked, and there were runners on the corners with two down. I mean, a, a double in the gap there, and that's 6-4. to four. That was a really, really bad call by um, Ron Culpa on that one. He, he missed that one big time. Doesn't end up hurting the Mariners, so I'm not going to make a big federal case of it. But, oh, that was one of the worst missed calls I have seen in a while. And then Edward Bizarro finished out the ninth. Bizarro's looked pretty good. He's got 10 strikeouts, one walk since coming to the Mariners, which I'm not going to lie, surprised me. I feel like he's walked more than one batter. Um, but uh, he's done a nice job um, since coming over. And, and you can see the stuff. You can see the slider. The fastball's got some good life. You know, if he makes the postseason, if they get to the postseason, then he makes the roster. He's someone that could get some pivotal outs for you um, when you need it. So good to see the, the stuff is there for sure. Offensively, man, J.P. Crawford, two for five. Uh, his double in the seventh was huge because they had Haggerty at third with one out. Dylan Moore grounded out, and it looked like they were going to waste another base runner at third. You know, two nothing. <sighs> you know, two, the problem being up 2 nothing that bloop and a blast tie game, and the A's kind of did that in the seventh inning. But then JP delivers the RBI double, and it really opened up the floodgates for that, for the team. Um, went up 3 nothing, and they just kept pouring it on from there. 11 hits, four walks for the Mariners, and seven runs. JP 2 for 5. And then the home run of the ninth inning just crushed. Career high 16th for JP. Just a tremendous, tremendous season. He made a really nice defensive play, too on a grounder from Estri Ruiz, who is extremely fast. Um, and JP made a really nice play on a grounder, hit to him off the bat of Ruiz. Julio was one for four with an intentional walk on base twice. Uh, Cal didn't have a great game hitting. Uh, one for five, did have an RBI single. Threw out Ruiz, which is not easy, one of the best base dealers in baseball. And he threw out, um, was it Kemp? That ran. Now that was more of a great tag by Rojas, but uh, still good to see. Cal all of a sudden has been a, throw out runners machine the last few weeks, you know, we'll take it. Um, so good job by Cal there. Teo two for three with an RBI and two walks and a stone base. Nice game from Teo Oscar on base four times. Gino was one for five with a double. Jared Kalnick two for five. They, they weren't hit very hard, but a couple singles dropped in there for, uh, for a couple RBIs. Jared Kalnick was the difference through the first six innings of this game. Listen, I, I, I know the exit velo on those hits was like 68, 70. So they were not hit hard. Guys, I don't care right now. I don't care if the Mariners scored runs off all errors. Need Ws, get wins. We'll take little bloopers falling in. A tie one for three. It was kind of an infield hit and a walk. I, I'm not going to complain about a game where Ty France is on base twice, which how much he's been struggling. Anyway, he can do something and contribute. Our I'll take. Ford was 0 for 2. Haggerty pinched hit for him. He had an infield hit. Stole second and got to third. So Haggerty causing some problems on the base pass. Uh, Rojas 0 for 2 and Dylan Moore 0 for 2. They, Dylan Moore having a really solid final 11 games would be huge for this team. Listen, I know on paper this was the games they were supposed to win, but there were people nervous about this series. There were. The, Mar the Mariners were playing, going on the road here, and they faced J.P. Sears and Paul Blackburn, who are legit MLB pitchers. Blackburn's been really solid at home this year. And he actually pitched pretty well. Five innings, four hits, two runs, two runs, one walk, four Ks. I thought he pitched pretty well. Like JP Sears is a major league level pitcher. Paul Blackburn is a major league level pitcher. These guys can get you out. Again, this is an A's team that went to Houston and won two games just a week ago. So before anybody comes in and says, oh, the, the, it doesn't matter. These were gimmies. Eh, I, you can go read my comment section. A lot of people are very nervous about this series. And I get it. I, I'm not hating on anybody for that. I'm just saying, like, there were people that didn't trust this series. And the Mariners have at the very least won it. At the very least, you, you know it's coming down those final 10 games. Whether you take the lead tomorrow or not, you're going to have to play good in those final 10 against Texas and Houston. And truthfully, it was always going to come down to that. Unless this team just went on an absolute tear, it was going to come down to the final 10. Hopefully, we can get a good George Kirby tomorrow, sweep this series. One of Toronto, Texas, and Houston loses. And if one of those teams loses and the Mariners win, the Mariners will be back in a playoff spot, and then it's go time. 
Then it is 100% go time for the final 10. Everybody, guys, gals, buckle up. It's going to be nerve wracking. There's going to be moments you want to pick up headphones and chuck them against the wall. There's going to be moments of jubilation where you feel like, yes, this team has done it. That's the win. Then there's going to be the loss that makes you, like I said, pick up your mic and throw it across the room. It's going to be a wild 10 games. Buckle up. Let's get it. Let's get this team a division title. Let's get them into the playoffs. and Let's make some noise. It, it, right? I mean, this is what you want. This is what you want. It, there's been some frustrating moments this month, no doubt. But everything is right there for this team. Everything is right there. Go and get it. You, you can't ask for more. If you said the beginning of the year, it's going to come down those 10 games. Like, yeah, it, it probably is. It probably is. There's a lot of teams that would kill to be in this team's position right now. And, and if you're still frustrated with some of the losses, I get it. But man, go, go talk to Astros fans right now. How are they feeling? They're feeling pretty nervous right now, I'm sure. Texas fans, I know they won today, but they're feeling it. Toronto still has to play Tampa. I mean, I mean, this, this is going to be, there's a lot of opportunities for this team. So go and get it. Have a great night, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow for the post game. Again, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Think about becoming a channel member. I needed to do my shout outs. So let me pull that up real quick. I want to shout out my channel members. I always mean to do that, and I sometimes forget. Um, so let me pull that up. And let me do that real quick. So shout out to my members, uh, M the MVPs, Kevin Kirby, Trevor, Dalen, no punt intended, Y2K, Rich Jard, Samantha Sanchez, PA Niners fan, Mr. Moses, William Cook, Hannah, Chris, and Gunny Studios. Thank you guys so much for being MVPs and channel members. Uh, check it out if you guys haven't yet. Some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and the live streams are a lot of fun. Have a great night, everybody. And as always, take care and go Mariners. Buckle up. Buckle up. Here we go. This is it. Stretch run. Let's go get it. Peace.